Hi everyone, I'm Andrina from Viva Montar, and today I'm going to show you how to put together the snaffle bridle. It can be tricky at times, but don't worry, we'll cover it. Okay, so first thing that I like to do is organize my parts and make sure that I have all my pieces together. So we need two cheek pieces, so I make sure I have my cheek pieces. Crown piece is obvious, so is my nose band. I'm going to make sure I have my flash strap. And since I'm already here, I'm just going to go ahead and slide that through there. Make it a little bit more easier. Grab that all set aside. We have the throat latch. And then lastly, we have the back strap and the back strap pillow. So what I like to do is put these on my nose band before I attach it to my bridle. That way they're already there and you don't have to worry about them. Now the back uh, bridles to fit um, back straps come with two additional little keepers. Now these guys are handy dandy and you can use both of them if you like but I prefer to use just one extra and then I keep the other one extra or just in case I ever need an extra. They also come with two other that are sewn in. So these two are stable, they're not going to move, they're going to stay right there. And this other one I'm going to use on the pillow and I'll show you how. I just did a video, I'll put the link down below on how to attach these. But right now, I'm going to show you how, to, how we're going to do it right now. So what I like to do is I flip my nose band over. And depending on how you like to buckle your nose band, you can either start on the right or you can start on the left. It's up to you. Just depends on which direction you want the tail end of the strap to be facing. I usually like to start on the right. So I'm going to go to the right first. So what I like to do is we're going to slide it through there. And keep in mind, the buckle needs to be up. Okay. So we're going to slide that through the bottom here, stick it through this bottom keeper, and so, and we're going to slide it all the way until it's tight. Now you want to make sure it looks like that, okay? Now we're going to take our little pillow. Now these things, because they're new, they can be a little bit tough to um, feed through, but if you take like a little um, hoof pick or you can take a flathead screwdriver kind of open them up a little bit your strap will slide in a little bit easier so I'm going to feed this through the one side and once that's in we're going to slide it as far down as we can slide it okay now that one little extra piece keeper that I said um, hang on to. I'm going to go ahead and slide that in the middle here. Now I'm going to continue feeding it through. Okay, now you've you noticed these little pillows have this extra little keeper that's way out by itself, but he's attached. And I kind of like this um, concept and this design because when you need this keeper, it's there because it's actually attached to this little piece of leather. So it's going to go on the opposite end from the buckle. So then you're going to slide this piece through here. And that's what it should look like. Okay. And then when you go to buckle it, you can slide it through this keeper. And it'll keep it nice and smooth and tight like that and then you slide it through the center and then go ahead and buckle it now of course this all depends on where it fits on your horse and you can adjust it as so so you just slide it here slide it there it's new it will stretch so don't worry and then you will have a nice center Okay, so now that we have this, we can set this aside right there. I'm going to go ahead and go to our brow band. Now you have to put your brow band on before you can put uh, your throat latch, your um, cheek pieces, and your nose band. If you don't do it brow band first, you're going to have to do it again. So remember, this is a cutout for your ears. This is facing, this is the horse's head facing out, okay? So we're going to put our bow brow in on this direction. I just group them together. I stick them through the hole, slide it up. Same on the opposite side. Okay. 
Now it has these three little straps and on the bridle to fit bridles or on this particular headpiece, this is the HP5. This piece that's on the inside is your throat latch. This piece here is going to be for your nose band and this piece, the first front piece, is going to be for your cheek pieces. Now on some other model bridles, it'll change a little bit, especially like on some drop nose bands. But for this particular model, we're going to do it throat latch, nose band, cheek piece. Okay, so here we go. Let's slide up this cheek piece first. Slide up this cheek piece second. Pretty soon after you do about 100 of these, you'll be able to close your eyes and do it blindfolded and erase. Take the nose down. Slide this on. I like to slide these on before buckling them onto my horse because I don't want them to get too tight and put it on my horse or too loose and then they're just not happy and they're chomping at the bit and they get all stressed out for no reason and it's like I'm just trying to adjust this give me a second make it fit okay Slide this guy up here. Okay. Now you can add your reins later to your on your bits. But right now we're just going to go over the basic principles of putting your actual bridles together. Okay. And that's how it should look. You can attach your flash. We'll have it come down now. Do do do. And there you have her. It's a beauty, ain't she? Oh, there she goes. <laughs> If you have any questions or comments, stick them down below. I'll try to answer as many as I can. And then I'll try to do another tutorial on another bridle um, in the next day or two. Anyway, happy riding!